the recording button here. All right, it looks like we are ready to go. Are you ready, Doctor? Uh, I suppose, yes, uh, uh, anything for the system. Excellent. Who are you? Oh, um, I am, uh, I, should I, uh, should I your speak name. to you or Say should I? Name. You can talk to me. Whatever, here, it's like, whatever makes you the most comfortable. If you want to talk to me, you can. If you want to talk to the blinking pink, blinking pink light, mm -hmm. you can do that as well. Um, uh, I think I'll, I'll just speak to you. Uh, my my name uh, is Dr. Jerome Frelwich Trildrill Nippanapa Rumbletack. Um, technically, Nippanapa is a is a nickname, uh, but in gnomish circles, you would want to include all of the names. So uh, so that 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 is my name. What what what's a Nippanap Nippanapa? Yes, Nippanapa. Nippanapa. What what is what's that? Why is it a nickname? Oh, uh, oh actually, my my grandfather, who who lived with with me when I was a, a child, um, saw me sort of tinkering with things once, and he was like, "Oh, you're a nipper napper," and then uh, and then I guess it just stuck after that. Oh, all right. So nipper napper means like a tinkerer of things. More or less, it's not really a based in any language. It's more just um. Uh, a uh, term of endearment, I suppose. Oh, all right, all right, all right, a nipper napper. Oh, it's a term of endearment, all right. Okay, all right. Now, Mr. Nipper Napper, um, dare I call you Nipper Napper? And my, probably Dr. Rumbletack is fine. That's oh, good. Right, I'm sorry. Sometimes sorry. I have been accused of being overly familiar with people in oh. my speech. I don't mind. I think it's 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 perfectly all right to be friendly. But I should call you Dr. Rumbletack and not Nipper Napper. Probably yes. Probably yes or, or yes. Uh yes, that would that I would yes. prefer that. Thank all you. Right, all right, all right. Dr. Rumbletack, sorry. What is your rice? Uh, I am of, of gnomish descent. Right. Are uh, your age? Uh, well, when I was alive, I reached the age of 337. <laughs> that is a good ripe old age, Doctor. Well done. What is your height? Uh, I am uh, 2 foot 11 inches. Wow. What is your hair colour? Uh, white. <laughs> Just like Raya. What is your eye colour? Uh, it, it's green, I, I think. Hmm. Do you need a mirror? Um, I, I don't think so. I mean, what what do you think? What color? Oh well, I can't I can't answer this question. I can't answer any of the questions for you because you have to be like saying who you are, and I can't say who you are. Right. Otherwise, right. um, the paperwork gets thrown out in a court of Parham. Oh, the courts of Parham. Honestly, I've really only heard of it in passing. All the courts take place in Perham's Paradise. Um, and usually I never hear of the people involved again. So it's really okay. Uh, I assume they're fine. Um, what other physical descriptors do you find important about yourself? Um, I think that's it. Unless there's anything else you need for the record. Oh, if you think that's it, then that's it. What was your occupation? Uh, I I was a um, professor of magical sciences at East Pekepin University. That sounds very exciting. What kind Thank of you. things? So magical sciences. So like um like Raya is a blood hunter. So did you teach blood hunting? Oh no, uh, magical sciences is very different. It's um it's. Uh, finding the natural geometry in certain objects and then sort of manipulating the geometry in order to create uh, magical essence from them. So it, it's less um, less bloody and more sort of using the structures that exist and uh, finding almost the poetry inside of them. Okay. Maybe... Maybe I need more than one class to understand that. But, but I think I think I see what you're 
or say? Yeah, it, it is a sort of a um, um, more um, advanced science. Like usually you get a degree in, in magic or a degree in science, and then you combine them into like a magical science degree. So, so if it feels a little over your head, don't, don't worry about it. All right. What is your mother's maiden name? Oh, uh, it is um, a Trildrul. Trildrul. Oh, that's one of your names. Yes, yes. Oh, you keep them all together so you know everybody all the time. That's so nice. Can I ask you, this is an extra Roscoe question. This is another question I asked. Mm -hmm. What was it like to have a mother? Oh, uh... I I didn't realize you you hadn't had had were you adopted or uh, crafted? Ah, uh, I guess probably crafted is a better word. But I'm not like a I'm not like a golem or anything. But I never had a mother or a father, and so I like to ask people who come through what that, that experience is like, um, and they give me all kinds of different answers. Uh, it seems it sometimes it seems quite nice, and other times it seems really not very nice at all. E yes, I, I would say that um, that's accurate. That uh, 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 mothers and fathers, uh, parents in general, uh, sort of the only requirement for it really is that you either have a child or that you are uh, responsible for raising a child. And other than that, there is not a specific set of qualifications or expectations necessarily i think you're supposed to um care for your children and and love them and stay with them and uh that's usually expected uh but not everyone does does such things did your mother not stay with you oh oh she did she did uh no she uh she lived well into her 400s, yes. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful, Doctor. Yeah, I, I probably never had a mother or a father because I was never a child. That's probably what that it was. would make sense. Yes, make sense. Uh, yes. Mostly you have to be a child to have a parent of some kind. Yes. All right, 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 right. Um, where did you grow up? I, I grew up in a small Pekepin. It's an island on on Perim. Do you like did you like the island life? Oh, uh, it was perfectly pleasant. It was the 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 weather was quite temperate and and the food was very flavorful and uh and yes it, it was it was I I would say much nicer than many other places in in Perim. That's really nice. That's very nice. Uh, did you have any siblings, Doctor? Oh, yes, I had seven, as a matter of fact. There were so many of us. I'm shocked that my mother lived as long as she did with all that she was doing. So there is Tundrad, who is the eldest of all of us, and then Zerus, and then Kazreen, and then that was me after that, and then uh, Darabel, and then Bide, and then Boldfoss, and then Kirsel. So uh, seven all together, I mean, eight of us all together, but uh, seven siblings for me. Wow. Do you know if any of them are, uh... I'm sorry, it's an impolite question. Sometimes people oh. get very upset if I ask them if they know if their siblings are dead or alive. Uh, no, uh, it's a perfectly logical question to ask. Um, I, I believe Zerus passed on 50 or so years ago um everyone else is is alive as far as i know i i've i've lost touch with some of them but uh oh. but not we we don't have bad relationships we just have sort of gone separate ways in our adult lives and um but i i guess i don't really know if everyone is alive or, or yeah. not do you have a spouse oh uh, i am not married no all right. Uh, do you have any children? Uh, yes, I I have a, a daughter. Her name is uh, a Pidla, Pidla Peristop Rumbletack. You have a child, but you don't have a spouse. Oh, well, I, I did have a spouse um, oh, at one oh. time. We are just no longer together. 
Oh, God, I got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, who is your current best friend? Oh, uh, well, I, I suppose it would probably be my uh, homunculus servant, Pid. Oh, have I seen... What does it look like? Oh, uh, it's interesting you should ask. Uh, she is she's a little shy right now. She doesn't really feel like coming out, but um, but she is made of an emerald uh, and she has sort of a construction around her and a magical light pours out from the emerald and uh, and you can sort of see what would be eyes, you know, if you were imagining them and their little um, sort of um, uh, wheels that are attached uh, and and they spin around and she can fly and 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 speak a little bit and uh, she does she does uh she does many wonderful things. That's amazing, Doctor. Wow. Oh, well, this almost makes me sad. That's my next question. Do you have a best friend that you have lost? Oh, uh, well, I I have lived a long time, so uh, there have been a, a number of people who I've lost. Um, but I would say probably my best friend, who is no longer, well, I guess is with you now, uh, is uh, Agril Mugars. Uh, uh, she, she was a professor of mine uh, many years ago and it sort of encouraged my studies. Um, Oh. Lovely, lovely woman. Very bright. Uh, very encouraging. That's wonderful, Doctor. All right. Next question. Your three best traits. Oh, uh, well, I, I guess uh, I would say that I am knowledgeable. Uh, I, I have earned several degrees, and so uh, it's, it is a strength that I have in my character. Um, I would also say that I am a... a a curious person, uh, not curious, I guess, although I suppose I am a little curious, but like curious as in um, uh, I continue to seek more knowledge uh, as I go uh, and uh, get excited about that. So so that is a, a strength I have. Um, and then I, I suppose uh, I, I wouldn't want to um, toot my own horn, so to speak, but, uh, but I, I do I do think that I, I am a, a smart person. Uh, I have some level of intelligence. Um, and so uh, I, I generally consider that a strength. Right. All right. I was almost going to call you out and say that knowledgeable and smart are the same things. But I think that by smart, you mean like able to apply knowledge versus has a lot of it that is exactly right yes the knowledge would be the the amount of knowledge that i have accrued that over time that i know. have here yes. Yes, yes using it when it's appropriate yes right 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 great all right um your three worst traits oh <laughs> well it's uh been some time since i have um been in a setting where someone has asked me that uh I suppose one side of, of my um, vivacity for knowledge is that I can get a little um, uh, stuck on it, uh, doing a little bit of tunnel vision, only doing that. And so, so I, I can forget some other aspects of my life occasionally. Um, I would say I also uh, probably am not uh, the most to speed on the current fashions and music and uh, and other cultural things. I, I've just never really been interested in them. Uh, and and I people do occasionally say that I am long winded, uh, but I try to keep it relevant and on topic. Uh, so so I don't really think that's a flaw. I don't think that's a flaw either, Doctor. People have told me the same thing about myself. And when I say people, I mean one time I met this wonderful, beautiful dragonborn named Matilda Frost, and she said, you talk too much. Oh, Matilda, who was at the... Um, the, the... Yeah, she works in the waiting room. You've met Matilda. Yes. Uh, yeah, she's beautiful. Uh, I suppose she is. Uh, um I also think perhaps she um, 
is very smart. She uses so few words to convey so many things. She does. Yes. All right. Now, the questions are going to get a little more intense. Bear with me. What was your greatest fear when you were six versus just before you died? What was it? Well, uh, may I ask a question of you, Mr. Dirt? Sure. Are these questions, are they mandatory? Are they, they seem a bit, if I'm honest, a little off topic uh, to being able to identify uh, myself. Oh. Do you believe your perceived identity is not your actual identity? Oh, uh, no, no. I, I, I think that that you see me as as Dr. Jerome Rumbletack, and I am Dr. Jerome Rumbletack. So I, I see no problem with that. I just um, I, I I'm I'm sort of a private man, and 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 I um. Uh, honestly, it's been a very long time since I was six, and uh, it seems, uh... Oh, well, Doctor, if you can't remember your greatest fear when you were six, just do your greatest fear rough and right before you died. You can just oh. do one. It's all right to say, oh, I don't know. It's really more so that we can match you up with the records of who we've got um, of those who are newly dead from Records Town. It's like a cross-departmental... Uh, a uh, search of people you could be. Oh, and then if so you want to defeat your thing, then it's like, ah, oh, they are who they say they are. Oh, yeah. so it's not especially important to um, get all of the details? Is that what you're saying? It's especially important that you get all of the details that you know about for yourself. All right. Um well, uh, my my greatest fear, I mean, I, I suppose I didn't really think about it very much, um, but my greatest fear when I was me a couple of days ago uh, would have been, I suppose, not being able to complete my work, mm. which I am currently living. Oh, no, Doctor. Yes. All right, well, let's just keep going then. How about... Okay. Uh, next question. If you could choose one thing to change about humanoids as a whole, what would it be and why? Uh, perhaps that they would be more resilient so that they could complete all of the work that they want to on Param. I think that's what I would change. Mm-hmm. Well, let's brighten things up a bit. I think this is going to be a good answer, right? Did your father love you? I think so. Uh, yes. Uh, I... As far as I know, I, I mean, I, I don't... I haven't really run an analysis of, like, the amount of love that different fathers have shown their children... But, uh, but, but I think so. Yeah, did he tell you? Not really, uh, but, but he would, um, you know, he would occasionally, like, give me a hug or, or sort of pat me on the shoulder or, or say, you're very smart, nipper napper, and, uh, sm sounded a lot like my grandfather, um, but, uh, uh, yeah, not as much saying as as doing, I suppose. Yeah, that's that's a way of love. Yes, definitely, uh, that's a way yes. of love. Well, last question: uh, cause of death. Oh, uh, well, I think uh, I don't actually know that one, um, but I think it could be. It must have been uh, something that I did in my experiment. Uh, that's the last thing I remember is being in my lab. So. Um, uh, I tried to mix some reagents together and then I don't remember anything. So 
I'm not really sure what happened. I hope it's okay to say that on the record and I won't get in trouble for it, but the courts, but it's okay. I'm sure you're going to be fine. I'm sure you're going to be fine. Um, well, since these last few questions were really rather hard, I sometimes like to ask people personal questions that I have come up with. Would you want to answer any of them, Doctor? Sure, let's do that. Oh, all right, all right. Um, okay, first thing, since I have never been alive, I like to ask people, you what was your favorite thing about being alive on Parham? Oh, uh, well, uh, there are many splendid things about uh, being alive on Parham. Uh, it, it is a very diverse planet with many different places that you can go to, uh, experiences that you could have. Uh, there's all these, these different uh, sort of topographies and people and everything that you can you can do. Uh, um, although I'm sure you'll get some of that through your books. Uh, the, that is one thing I, I do like about living on Param is, or I did, is having the access to knowledge that I did at East Pekepin University and and just continuously discovering more more things uh, that that was always uh, that was always great. What were your favorite books? Oh, um, oh, how do I even choose between any of them? Oh. Well, I, I suppose I could give you my my top some of the, the lists that I give my students uh, when they come in for classes. Um, so I did love uh, the magic inherent in geometric formulas, which is written by Mugaz, uh, the same person that we were talking about earlier, my, my friend. Um, it's, it's a great starting book for mag magical sciences, great literature. I also do love Artificing is Not an Art by Lexonia because it's I mean, I, I know all of the techniques within the book at this point, but also some of those zingers are just they're just so wonderful. Uh, it's just so great to see someone sort of punching back on the idea that artificers have to be craftsmen or artists instead of uh, meticulous scientists and and sort of crafting in a in a more logical way um so i i would say the, those two uh, i also uh for a little light reading like to read the journal the journal of magical sciences uh comes out about once a year and i've written to the editor a couple of times about it because since magical sciences is a very new field they tend to kind of let anybody in you know article wise but um but it's also good to see what people are thinking in the field and the nice little nuggets of you know 50 page articles which is nice doctor this question is going to seem like it's a little out of left field uh but I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I agree with the concept necessarily that true love exists in the first place. So I suppose not. Oh, well, um, thank you very much for, for answering my questions, Doctor. I will have to see if the library has any of the books that you suggested, maybe. They sound very much, you know, they sound like books that will take up a good chunk of my brain and keep me very well engaged because I will be learning very many new things. So I'll have to see if the library has them. Sometimes I can occasionally sneak away from my desk and go to the library. It's not very often though. So I usually get a whole big stack of books and then bring them back and hide them under my desk. Um, anyway, thank you very much for answering the, the real questions and my Roscoe questions. It was very lovely to have you, Doctor. Are you all right? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm perfectly fine. Uh, thank you. Uh, I hope this is uh, this is helpful for your um, 
reckons. For the pilot program. Yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you very much. Um, you can go back to your friends and send the next one over, whoever wants to be next. And I'll turn off this recording here.